Hello everyone, this is Mumbo here, welcome back, and today we're going to be taking a look at something really quite awesome, and that is what I like to call the Looking Glass Hidden Crafting Bench. Now the idea behind this one really is quite simple, we've got a crafting bench behind a block of glass, when you flick the lever, the glass is actually retracted, and the crafting bench is pushed outwards so that you can actually use it. It's a fun and slightly silly little contraption that I'm sure will look really cool inside your base. Now in today's video we're going to be taking a look at two different designs, one slightly larger and more complex design that also ends up looking a little bit better, and a smaller, simpler and easier to build design that doesn't look quite as cool, so let's crack on. How about we get the big one out of the way first? As you can see here, we've got the crafting bench behind the window, which I think looks really quite cool. It's nice being able to see this thing, but anyway, when we flick the lever, as you can see, the glass is pushed downwards into the floor, and then the crafting bench is put out so that we can use that, craft up all of our items, then when we flick the lever once again, as you can see, the crafting bench is retracted, and the glass is pushed back up. Now, if we take a look at the redstone behind this thing, as you can see, it is pretty ridiculous in size. This is not a small redstone contraption, and despite my best efforts at compacting it right the way down, it is still extremely large. But anyway, if we head over here and flick this lever, as you can see, that is the full motion. What happens is, this is a double piston extender. It pushes both of these slime blocks down, which push these two blocks down, forcing all the glass out of the way. It then retracts a little bit, pulling this piston and this crafting bench back up so that this piston here can extend. And as you can see on the retraction as well, we get the retraction of those blocks there and also this piston pushes up the glass back to its original position. It's a cool little mechanism, but sadly, it's a little bit big. Of course, if you do want to take a closer look at design number one, there will be a world download down in the description that you can check out for yourselves, because sadly, I'm not going to be doing a tutorial on this design, simply because it is far too big, and I can't imagine anyone wants to build it. But anyway, moving on to design number two. Just like the first design, we have got the crafting bench behind the glass, but when we flick this lever here, as you can see, the glass is pushed downwards, but not fully into the floor, meaning it is still visible even when the crafting bench is extended. But anyway, if we just click on our crafting bench, we can still use it just fine, and when we flick this lever here, the crafting bench is retracted, and the glass is pushed back up, and it is back in its original position. Obviously, the main selling point of this design right here is the small and compact redstone. Unlike this goliath of a redstone contraption that we have off to the right, this is actually relatively pocket-sized. You could probably slot this in anywhere in your base, and it will really complement all of the other stuff that you have going on. So, how about we take a look at how to build it? So you want to get things started with a 4x3 area. The first thing that we're going to be doing is the piston layout. So you want to take out this block here, place a regular piston facing upwards, then place a wall block up like this, a glass block, and then your other wall block. Then you want to head another block up like this and place a sticky piston facing downwards into that block right there. Then behind the glass, you want to chuck down your crafting bench, go two blocks out like that, and a sticky piston facing across, and that is your entire piston layout done. Now you just need to wire them up. Then next to your glass block here, you want to place a block with a lever on its face. Then behind it, you want to place a redstone torch with a block up like this, a block on the side of that torch with a repeater running straight into a sticky piston facing upwards with a block on top. Now this is actually going to create a falling edge monostable circuit. Then next to this piston here, you want to place an upside down half slab, then go blocks up like this with three blocks running across and a block right next to that piston there. Redstone dust on top of both of these, redstone dust here, and a repeater set to two ticks that is going to be powering this block, which will then power this piston. Next up, you want to head below your redstone torch, place three blocks going across like this with redstone, a repeater set to four ticks running straight into more redstone, then you want to place a block here with a repeater running straight into a block with redstone dust on the top of that one, and a block next to this sticky piston here. That should extend, and don't worry, it is going to mess up your system, but we'll fix that in a couple of seconds. Anyway, now you want to head down beneath, take out these three blocks here, place a regular piston facing across, and then a sticky piston facing across in this direction with a redstone block on its face. Then you are going to have to navigate your way into this mess, take out this block here, place a dropper facing upwards with a hopper running down into it with a random item inside that hopper there. Then in this direction, you want to grab a comparator and run it straight into your regular piston. And now you are all complete. To fix our little problem, all you have to do is flick this lever, the crafting bench will be retracted, then you replace your glass block here, and finally we can fill in all of the blocks around like this, you want blocks going up like this, and then you want blocks across the top here, and of course blocks down here, that is going to be your ceiling, this is going to be your floor, but as you can see when we flick this lever, the crafting bench is extended, and we have access to the crafting table, but there's one very important thing that is probably making our design look a little bit rubbish right now, and that is the fact that we can see through into the redstone, so what you want to do is head around the back, 
and place a block behind that glass. And as you can see, it is now looking absolutely fine. So we can use our hidden looking glass crafting bench all we like. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is all I've got time for today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.